you guys, let's talk a little bit about New Earth. So there's several messages that are coming through. Um, let me get a piece of paper. Um, okay, so New Earth. So you guys know that we're going, we're constantly going through energetic ascensions, okay? They say that, um, so there's a big message that I'm receiving about, okay, the understanding is, okay, what I'm understanding is that whoever you are, you're a light worker, you're an alchemist, you're somebody who helps to carry the frequency that, how do you say it? You're like the, um, I'm thinking of, um, yeah, you carry the frequency, okay? Um, there's somebody who has been carrying a frequency for a very long time and it's going to get easier because other people are starting to wake up, okay? And that's the new earth. That's the ascending into new earth. We're constantly ascending and we are constantly um, waking other people up and or people are being woken up and or people are leaving because they're not waking up and people's ancestors are getting sick of them fucking with the bloodline and or people are leaving because they feel like their job is done here. Okay, just take what resonates, all right? But there's something about somebody's job or somebody, something is going to get much easier for somebody. And what I'm seeing is, is that there are a lot of people that are starting to wake up within one's community, which means that as these people and their frequency is elevating, that means that it's like, I wish that I could think of the math terms because I, and I wish, and maybe I need to like s s go back into like my math books and like, but it's, it's like, um, it's a very easy word that I can't think of right now. The median, right? The median shifts. Okay. There we go. Ah, okay. The median shifts, all right, with regards to energetic frequency, okay? So let's say whoever you are, you're up here and you're holding the frequency and you've done all of your shadow work so you don't get triggered. You're not going up and down, up and down, up and down, right? That's, um, I'm hearing the song, um, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty. Um, Kendrick Lamar, yeah, he says something like, um, Born outside a jellyfish, I gauge. Somebody, I don't know. So somebody didn't have a backbone or something. What out of, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So there's something about um, you have been holding this frequency, and I'm also seeing like somebody's been holding this frequency like while doing shadow work. So you've been separating yourself from the outside world to do your shadow work, so that you're not fucking with anybody else's frequency, and you're not, you know. I can't, I don't even feel like I can say this because I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're like above the karmic wheel, you're out of the karmic wheel, right? Okay, so, but like, so you don't, you know, stack up any karmic debt, so to speak, all right? So, okay. <laughs> oh, God, okay, there's a lot coming through. So, um, there's another really weird message where it's like somebody would like rather die than to be part of a particular group of people. And it's almost like, it's almost like somebody had to kind of come into this knowing of like, I would, I, and I, you guys only take what resonates. It's not like that. It's more so like, it's like, it was like you had to choose yourself or them. And there's a karmic who chose themselves. And, and there's another message for somebody where it's like this, there's a karmic energy who kept choosing themselves. And it's like, somebody finally is like seeing this karmic energy just choosing themselves like over and over and over again. And that's almost what made, or that's what made another person eventually choose themselves is because they, they kind of, they, they got out of this reverse projecting type of an energy it, and it broke their heart is, is what I'm hearing or what I'm understanding or actually what I'm feeling. It, it broke their, like, I feel like I want to cry. So I, maybe somebody needs some Malachite. Malachite, I've already, I think I've said this I think, I don't know. I love Malachite, you guys. Malachite for me, it's like if your heart is so broken, you feel like you can't go on. It's a very masculine heart chakra stone. It's also linked to the throat chakra. 
but it it will it it will pull you along it will also make you very nice to people who you would probably not normally want to be nice to it just it, there's a level of patience that malachite brings um and an energy and energy um i do have that in my etsy shop the link to my Etsy shop is down below. You guys can use the coupon code YouTube22 for 20% off as well, okay? Just take what resonates. Or, I mean, why am I saying just take what resonates? But, yeah. You guys remember that all my readings are general readings, too. Little, little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The entire reading may resonate with you. None of it may resonate with you. All my readings are also timeless. So, if this reading doesn't resonate, you can go and look through any of my other readings. Let's pull some cards, Okay. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. It, it's like there's... Oh. When I say I would... When I say... I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube. But when I say what I was hearing, that somebody was saying that they would rather... enter the word there because I don't know if I can, I don't want to get flagged, but it, um, it's more of like, I, it's more of like somebody thinking like I would, or, or understanding and knowing and God just only take what resonates you guys. And, and these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And, and I trust and believe that you guys will use discernment. I believe that you guys are responsible adults too, and that you won't get any you know, like, you know, all right, you know, okay, <laughs> uh, that's the third eye, or you know, okay, but, like, it's more so, like, somebody was, like, saying to spirit, like, like, scoop me up, take me back up into the oneness, because, um, this is not working, and I don't want to be around this again, kind of like that, like, I this is not like, it's kind of like that, but it's, it's like spirit is saying like, no, we need you here. You need to be here. And so it's, there's something about, it's like, it's you or them. And it's like, when you chose yourself, it's like, that's when spirit, now spirit is like, I don't know. It's like spirit is like really empowering somebody to like do their work. Um, and to, to, to move forward with whatever it is that somebody needs to do, but there's, and there's, and it, it really s created a boundary and maybe it created a boundary for like another, a next life too. just take what resonates. If you believe in eternal time and if you believe in reincarnation, um, Yeah, it's like somebody was like, okay, just take me to the kingdom of God right now because, and, and, and send me back down and I'll do this another way. And God's like, I need you to do it this way. But somebody had to choose themselves so that they could do it the way that God wanted them to do it, which is their way, which is your way. Because it's, 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 um, it's programmed in your DNA. So maybe somebody's waiting for something like that to come out. Just um, trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So if there's something that's like bothering you, um, maybe it's time to sit and like meditate with that. Like if there's there's something that's like like a voice, like a little voice. Like maybe somebody needs to listen to some sort of a little voice. Uh, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. 
the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Yeah, I feel like there is a collective ascension that's happening. What's the date today? Oh, August 15th. August 17th is another uh, Lionsgate portal, 888. Um, so anyway, oh, we had we had the Lions portal on 88 and then, okay, and then on 817, right? Because one and seven reduces down to eight. So maybe there's a, a huge like ascension that's happening between the, these dates or something like that. But there's, it's, There's, there's a karmic energy, too, that I'm understanding that needed to align with this, like, Lionsgate portal, with this energy, with this, with, with the, um, with the light. There's a karmic energy that needed to, like, align with the light. And I feel like somebody missed the bus. I missed the bus. And that is something that I never, ever want to do again. Yeah, that's the song that's coming in my head. So, yeah, they missed the bus. I don't know. Uh, just take what resonates, you guys. Okay, let's go. Let's do the tarot. Are, I feel like you're kind of in the midst of creating like a foundation for yourself, like like a jumping, like a place to jump from, um, like a jumping ground. Does that? No, that's not really the word. That I, but like you're creating some sort of a solid foundation. It's like somebody needs to get out of your energy too. Somebody needs to. The fool card. Yeah, for whoever you are, I feel like you you just kind of let the divine like guide you. It's like you you don't really look really at anybody else except for yourself and that's great. That's why you have this contract with the most high. Cuz you're not like in anybody else's business. Like there's not any sort of like like whoever you are, you have a really like innocent heart. Like, no jealousy or no, you know what I mean? Like, you're not looking over your shoulder. Well, yeah. Or there's something about looking over someone's shoulder. Like, you're not going to have to look over your shoulder anymore. Or something like that. But as we all collectively raise our frequency for the ones who came before us and the ones who we are or the or the, it's it's a um so we've got the 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 original <laughs> the pioneers who came out you know what i mean of light workers who did the the first the first big activation who who were activated you know, um, in a small group, right? And then they kind of helped to activate a bigger group, okay? Whether they were teaching or whether they were just in the space uh, surrounding a certain, you know, group of people or within a community, okay? And then we have, you know, more of those who decided to, to choose to be a chosen one, to choose themselves to be a chosen one, okay? Because God chose you, but you have to choose yourself, all right? So somebody, it's, and then it's like those people activate more people. And as it's, it almost is like, it's almost like a pyramid scheme, but it's, it's not, it's, or it is like a pyramid, but I, I almost feel like I'm, okay, scratch that. All right, but it's like as, as those people are becoming more activated and activated and down the line, right? the ones at the top, it becomes easier or, or not. The ones who have already been activated, as more people are becoming activated, those who are activated, it becomes easier because as more people become activated, less people are not activated. Does that make sense? I think that that actually is just kind of the way that it, that really makes sense. We've got one, four, four, four here.
new beginnings, taking initiative, and building stability for success. Okay, so somebody's creating a foundation. I feel like, okay, this number suggests a period of grounding, self-discovery, and taking inspired action towards your dreams. Yeah. What else, Spirit? Honestly, I think that that's the reading, you guys. I think I might just leave it there. Maybe. Let's see. We've got the Two of Cups. Okay, so I feel like maybe somebody's going to be seeing some shifts um, in the outside world. Maybe, um, yeah, I feel like things are going to kind of start lightening up. I know we do have Mercury Retrograde. Um, Saturn Retrograde has been pretty interesting for me myself <laughs> you know Saturn when Saturn is retrograde it's kind of like if there are yeah if there are any cracks in the foundation Saturn retrograde will highlight those in you know gentle gently <laughs> sometimes maybe not so gently but I, I will say though too um, less karmic attacks as more people are becoming activated too, you know, um, let's see, what else, spirit, the tower in the reverse position, the star, healing, page of wands, receiving divine inspiration, and go, go, going, six of cups, creating new memories, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Hell yes. Page of Pentacles. You got money coming in and somebody's got the Midas touch. What's up? Which y'all, that's beautiful energy. I do feel like somebody has been watching you, but they need to just stay in their own lane. Um, yeah. All right, that's the reading. I'm leaving it there. I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.